Welcome back to LML. National Health Care Decision Day takes place next month. But Baptist Trinity Hospice says a living will is something you should start thinking about now, even if you're not ill. That's right. And Jerry Ashley is here to talk about the Five Wishes program. So, Jerry, thanks for coming. We have a lot to talk yeah. about today. Yeah. Why do people need to start thinking about or talking about or planning this living will? Um, a lot of people think they should wait until they are, quote, dying. And the problem yeah. is, is serious illness happens when we least expect it. Mm -hmm. And so when it does happen, 50% of us are not able to make our own decisions. So it's best to start early and know how it is you want to live and be cared for until those Mm -hmm. last few seconds of where death occurs. So who should we start talking to about our advanced care planning? Well, the first conversation really takes place just with yourself. Mm -hmm. What is it? What gives my life meaning, joy, purpose? What gives my life quality? And then making uh, with your physicians those medical decisions that match that kind of quality. Mm -hmm. Once that's decided and you've made the decisions for how you want to live well, then you talk with your family, especially that person or persons who are going to make decisions for you. Right. Because they need to be informed of who you are and what you view as important. Right. Once those discussions are done and you've got your written plan completed um, and legally executed, at that point, you then start talking to your physicians. Every doctor you go to, they need okay. a copy of that advanced care plan. They need to know what's in it. And, um, and those medical decisions where they play a major role. Oh, wow. So we're not only, the living will really, it, it's not just about establishing a power of attorney. No. It goes beyond that. Right. The, the living will document that we're actually promoting uh, in Shelby County is called Five Wishes. Mm -hmm. And Five Wishes is five wishes about how I want to be cared for okay. until my death comes. Um, and, and that can be a very long period of serious illness. And so during that time, um, it includes decisions like who makes decisions for me? Who's going to show up in that emergency department or in that ICU when I can't make decisions? That's the person and or persons who need to be informed. Secondly, um, what medical decisions do I have to make? And at that point, at the point where my death is imminent, uh -huh. there are certain decisions that come into play, but they don't come into play earlier, such as do I want resuscitation? Right. Do I want to be revived? Um, other decisions in the five wishes is how comfortable do I want to be, um, how, how do I want people to treat me, and what do I want my loved ones to know. Yeah, yeah. So after you have completed the plan mm -hmm. and made all the decisions, what's the next step? Once you've completed it, it requires either two witnesses or a notary to, to legally execute it. Mm -hmm. Once it is legally executed, you then make as many copies for every family member that's going to show up in that emergency department yeah. and every physician and don't put it in the lockbox. I was going to say, so some people stick in the lockbox lock yeah. and then you don't um, have access to it. In, in working with uh, home care ag uh, a home care agency, what we recommend is either put it on the refrigerator mm -hmm. or put it rolled up in the freezer. So if the house burns, the living will will not burn. Yeah. That is a <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Yeah. And, and it, you know, it's, I think it's less stressful off of family members who are going through such a yeah, hard yes. time, you know, during funerals and things like that. And then, you know, people sometimes they want this and they want that. So arguments mm -hmm. come about. It's mm -hmm. very important to me that you it go ahead is. and do, do a living will. It is because those decisions are made in accordance with the person who is ill. Right. And the families who make decisions even 20, 30, 40 years later suffer the effects of those decisions if they didn't know what to do. Can we quickly talk about the National Healthcare Decision Day? Yes. Um, two things in, de in life are certain. Death and taxes. Yeah. Uh, tax Day is April 15th. Healthcare Decisions Day is April 16th. Okay. And it is intended to be an annual event where you either complete it for the first time or review it annually. Because our lives change. A new grandparent baby's born and mm -hmm. maybe my wishes change in some way. Right. And so okay. um, it allows you to review it annually. So what is the cost of the five wishes document? You, uh, they can be ordered online with agingwithdignity.com 
uh, they run depending on how many copies you buy from a dollar to five dollars. It's five dollars for one copy, one if you order more. Okay. Super reasonably priced, no reason to put it off. Correct. Go ahead and do Correct. it, even if you're young and healthy. And uh, for more information that people can find, you have a website? We have a website, uh, Baptist Online. Okay, and we have it on our website yes. as well. And um, you can call 767-6767 awesome. for more information. Thank All you right. so much Thank for being you. here, Jeremy. Thank feel you. feel much smarter about it. And again, for more information about the Five Wishes program or National Health Care Decision Day, it's all on our website. Just go to localmemphis.com and click on the Find It link. All right, stick around. Everybody, local promoter Jay Young wants to put a little comedy back in your line. We'll be talking about Saturday Night Last coming up next.